اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری و اخلل اقتتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی اللہم آرین الحق حقا ورزقن اتباع وارین الباطل باطلا ورزقن اجتنابا رب حبلی حکما و الحقنی بالصالحین There is a very important narration in Sunan al-Daraqutni and that narration talks about the sign of Imam al-Mahdi that has never occurred since the creation of the earth and the universe. And in this one, the narrator quotes, إِنَّا لِمَهْدِيَنَا آيَتَيْنِ لَمْ تَكُونَا مُنْزُ خَلْقِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ That there are two signs for Imam al-Mahdi which have not occurred since the creation of the skies and the earth, the heavens and the earth, which are تَنْكَسِفُ الْقَمَرُ لِأَوَّلِ لَيْلَةٍ مِّنْ رَمَضَانِ First, there will be there will be lunar eclipse in Ramadan al-Mubarak in the holy month of Ramadan, according to the Islamic Hijri calendar. Watan kasifu shamsu fin nisfi minhu, and later on, at the separation of uh, around the separation of uh, half a month. تن کسیف و شمس دے وڈ بی ای سولر ایکلپس ولم تکونا منزو خلق اللہ حس سماوات والارض اینڈ دی نریٹر کوٹس دیٹ دس ہیز نوٹ ہیپنڈ سنس اللہ ہیز کریٹڈ دی ہیونز اینڈ دی ارتھ آل آف اس نو دیٹ دیر از گوئنگ ٹو بی ای کمپلیٹ سولر ایکلپس آن ایٹھ آف اپریل بٹ What we do not know or we have overlooked is a partial lunar eclipse. There is going to be a solar eclipse on 8th of April, complete solar eclipse, but there was, there did happen a partial lunar eclipse as you can see the proof on the screen on the night between 24th and 25th of March. And it was visible from Northeast Asia, much of Australia, much of Africa, North America, South America, Pacific, Atlantic, Arctic, and Antarctica. All of these areas were where this partial lunar eclipse was visible. And it was on the night between 24th and 25th March, which is basically the night between 14th and 15th of Ramadan, 1445 Hijri. And the solar eclipse is going to occur on 8th of April, that would be 29th of Ramadan al-Mubarak. So you can easily see that there is a separation of 15 days 14 to 15 days between two eclipses exactly like it is quoted in the narration of uh, Sunan Dar al-Qutani that there will be lunar and solar eclipse in a single month and that would be the month of Ramadan and the separation between the two events would be around two weeks or 14 to 15 days, which has exactly occurred with uh, occurred in the Ramadan of 1445 Hijri. So this sign of Imam al-Mahdi has occurred and this has occurred at the time when Israel is very much ready for the sacrifice for the slaughter of a red heifer. They have, they have imported five red heifers from Texas, United States into Israel. And right now they are in Shalom, uh, the, the city of Israel. And they are of the right age, that is three years of age. They would slaughter those cows anytime. 
and they are preparing to demolish Masjid al-Aqsa uh, to pave their way towards the building of the third temple and they have driven most of the Palestinians out of their lands and they are killing the people in Gaza so much that it's a complete genocide in Gaza and in Palestine and, and in other parts of Palestine so this is whole stage has been built for the destruction and a huge um, huge uh, campaign huge war against uh, Muslims and the stage is has been prepared for the coming of Imam al-Mahdi and all of the signs of Imam al-Mahdi have already been completed this was a sign mentioned in uh, the narration of Dara Qutani uh, which was yet to occur and it did occur and it has occurred now so for us the Muslims it is very important to know that Imam al-Mahdi's signs have been completed and for uh, as a refresher let me let me just uh, take you through a few major signs we all should uh, we all should pay attention to uh, to identify who will be Imam al-Mahdi the first thing is that Imam al-Mahdi will not be a prophet he will be a normal human being but Allah would choose him as the leader of the Muslims in the coming in the final wars of the world the Armageddon and Al-Malhamat Al-Kubra the biggest war as Islam quotes uh, that would happen uh, on earth so Imam al-Mahdi would not be a prophet number one uh, so there would be no messenger no wahi uh, no 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 uh, angel would be coming to uh, talk to him directly rather there has to be another way Allah would send his messages through Imam al-Mahdi to the people and that is that can only be the true dreams because the prophet said that there is nothing that is left out of prophethood a prophethood and its signs except al-mubasharat and he explained that al-mubasharat are a true dream that somebody sees about himself or about his uh, muslim brother so this is still a sign this is still a communication path that is available that is connected between the man and the human so there is this way Allah may talk to or convince or, or, or convey his messages uh, to Imam al-Mahdi for the mankind and there are other narrations of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in which the Prophet told that uh, a true dream is the 46th part of prophethood so basically it is a communication channel that is still available between the mankind and the God so number one Imam al-Mahdi will not be a prophet number two there is no other way uh, Allah would talk to Imam al-Mahdi except true dreams number three the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah will fix him in one night in a night so basically Imam al-Mahdi would not be as pious a person as we expect from a religious personality so he will not be uh, he will not be coming out with a huge turban uh, a white garment or uh, a long beard uh, the personality that you have built uh, in our minds for a religious leader he is definitely not going to be that because he would he would be fixed in a night so expect a normal human being possibly clean shaved possibly in the western clothing and uh, he will see true dreams and he will not be a prophet and another major sign that would be very visible according to the narrations of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is that he would have a tall nose and a bright forehead so whenever you see the person especially when you see uh, him from a side pose uh, you would see that he would have a tall nose and a bright and broad uh, forehead and the final thing that uh, you can take as a pro tip that he has to be from the lineage of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so since the muslims are finding are after finding imam al-mahdi right now because it is the right time all of the signs have been completed 
and the stage has been set for the appearance of Imam al-Mahdi. So, you have to take these tips with you. Number one, he is not going to be a prophet, not claim a prophet. Number two, he will see true dreams. Number three, he will be from the lineage of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Number four, he would have a tall nose, especially from the side pose and a broad forehead. And number five, he will be from the lineage of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and take it as a uh, additional bonus point that he would never claim that he is Imam al Mahdi, he would keep on denying uh, that he is Imam al Mahdi. Uh, people, other people, would identify him as Imam al Mahdi and will propagate him as Imam al Mahdi. And another one, uh, just before I see you off, is that his name would be just like the name of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his father's name would be just like the name of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam yuwati ismuhu ismi wa ismu abihi ismu ismu abi that his father his name would be parallel similar like the name of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his father's name would also be like the name of uh, the father of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so we are looking for someone who has a tall nose, who has a broad forehead, he is not claiming that he is Imam al-Mahdi. He is not claiming a prophet, nor he is a prophet. He is seeing true dreams. He can be in uh, Western clothing, clothing, possibly clean shaved. And he is from the lineage of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And his name is Muhammad ibn Abdullah or Muhammad ibn uh, anything similar on those lines, for example, uh, Abdul Hay, Abdul Qayyum, Abdul Karim, so on and so forth. Uh, so, uh, as we have been telling uh, for so long, uh, let me re emphasize this fact that what Allah has written has been written, it cannot be changed, and the person that who is going to be Imam al Mahdi is going to be from Pakistan, you like it or not. And his name is Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim. And this has been written. The pen has dried. The book has been closed. Nobody can change that. Nobody can change the Lord, the creator of all worlds. If you accept, you would be among the righteous ones. You would be among the Sabiqun al Awalun. You would be among the people in Allah's army. And if you deny, you would be on the other side. And you know. What happens with the people fighting from the other side when Allah is on the other? Assalamu alaikum.